Jordan. Okay, so we're here on Smoothwater Lake in Tomogamy, en route to Ishpatina Ridge, the highest point in our province of Ontario. And just want to give a demonstration of a typical traditional snowshoe versus a typical modern snowshoe. So this is a 16 by 30 bear paw snowshoe. That's the snowshoe that I use around camp. And this is probably a fairly typical sized modern snowshoe. Um, I don't know its dimensions. It's the model 830, which maybe means 8 by 30 inches. I'm not really sure. First thing, um, if we compare the weights, the, the traditional shoe with the fish line weave um, is quite a bit lighter, but uh, perhaps I'll have to look up weights back at home. But you can tell right away that it's lighter. So I'm just going to pack the trail out. And then same thing. So we're just comparing the, the flotation on the two pairs of shoes. So, of course, the binding on the, this modern shoe is, does not allow hands-free on and off. So that's one disadvantage. Uh, I'm gonna leave them on. Good. First thing I notice when I put it on is that it's designed to give me a great calf stretch with this nice bulky cramp on under my toes. So I feel like I'm sort of walking uphill all the time, which uh, feels fantastic on my calves. Okay, so um, are you in a spot where you can see both packs? Yeah. Very nicely. So um, obviously the, the modern shoe um, doesn't provide, because it doesn't have as much surface area, um, doesn't provide nearly the flotation. And the, the, the float that it packs out is quite a bit narrower. It still fits within the float of the modern shoe. But just barely, and if uh, if we have any sort of a wide load on these things, which we don't recommend, but it happens, uh, then they're going to be hitting the sidewalls. Whereas here, with the traditional shoe, we've got lots of clearance. And then the very last thing I'd like to demonstrate, if you're on a a trip with us and everyone has the traditional snowshoes um, and you have the modern snowshoe even if you're not breaking trail you will essentially be breaking your own trail um, regardless of what position in line you're in so you getting all this on tape <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So 
So with a modern shoe, a small modern shoe, I mean, you can get very large ones, but as they start to approach the size of the traditional shoe, um, their weight's gonna go way up compared to the, the traditional. Um, so if you have a typical sized smaller shoe, you'll, even if you're at the back of the line, you'll still be breaking um, an extra three, four inches um, through the float that previous people had left. So that is uh, why at Lure of the North we um, highly recommend the traditional snowshoe. Lighter weight, better flotation, better uh, float for the toboggan to ride in, and no crampons. Uh, the, the advantages, the disadvantages of the crampon are that uh, when we don't have much snow cover on windblown lakes, they're very uncomfortable. You end up walking um, back on your heel all the time. Um, if we have slush underfoot, the, uh, the clean bottom on the traditional shoes, sometimes we'll float the slush um, and you can just, we'll stay on top on the dry snow, avoiding the slush, whereas the crampons will typically bite down into the slush and then fill up, which I think this one already, oh no, the other one, does it have a bunch of snow in there? So it has some nice snow and ice from that exact occurrence earlier. Uh, the advantages of the crampon are nothing. <laughs> For our type of trip, uh, they really don't serve much purpose because we typically tend to follow the traditional snowshoe routes on the flat waterways and uh, typically short-ish portages. Thank you. And what would you say to someone who um, looks at the snowshoe recommendations and thinks, do I really need these absurdly large snowshoes? <laughs> I would... Uh, I can give them my phone number and I can tell them <laughs> they need to uh, have their snowshoes properly sized for the event. Make every effort to be comfortable. Yeah. And snowshoes is a very important. Mine were a little bit small, punching through in a couple tough days, but once I got through those, it was a cakewalk. It was fun. <laughs>